Chicago firefighters lining the streets, saluting one of their own today. Lieutenant Kevin Ward is being remembered as a friend and a brother to all. He died from his injuries after fighting a fire earlier this month on the northwest side. And that's where we find our Charlie Damar. And a bit earlier, Ward's body was taken from the Loyola Medical Center and taken to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Ward worked out of this firehouse on the far northwest side. He has been with the department since 1996. And that's why I'm here today, is to pay my respects to a man that I respected as a lieutenant and as a brother. Lieutenant Kevin Ward getting the send off he earned after serving the Chicago Fire Department and the city for more than 25 years. Knowing Kevin personally uh, hits a little harder uh, working in the same house with him. Retired firefighter Bob Arians worked alongside Lieutenant Ward. They were stationed here on the northwest side where bunting now hangs to honor the life of a decorated firefighter. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ward fire was injured down. while fighting a fire near O'Hare on the 8300 block of West Balmoral back on August 11th. Other firefighters were also hurt, but not severely. His family was with him as he died peacefully in the hospital. We've been to the morgue far too much this year. Uh, we've lost a lot of members this year, unfortunately. Ward is the third Chicago firefighter to die in the line of duty this year. CFD's fire commissioner says Ward's family describes the 59 year old as an avid adventurer. For the fire department, for his family, this is very tragic for us. Kevin, we're going to miss you down here, my friend, my brother. We got it from here. And again, the Chicago Fire Department telling us that Ward passed away peacefully surrounded by family. Again, the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office will determine how Ward died. Reporting from the far northwest side, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.